Hi families, I'm gonna go through our new April packet. You can pick up this packet Monday or Tuesday, April 13th or 14th from nine to five. You can also at the same time drop off your child's completed previous packets. We had one packet that we picked up um, the, right after we find, found out school was closing. Then we also had another supplemental packet we passed out the next week in case you need a little bit of extra work to take you through till now. And if you don't have all of these parts of those previous packets completed, do not stress about that. Please gather what you do have and turn that in when you pick up this new April packet so that we can give your child a completion grade for work that was done. And don't worry if some things weren't done, just turn in what you do have. Now let's go through the new packet you'll be picking up this week. Now we've tried to put together a packet that would be very simply put together so it'll be easy to complete it, um, but will still be challenging for your students. And the very front of your packet, you're gonna see your child's name. This is Trinity's. And at the bottom it says, there's a parent folder inside, a student daily work folder, and then there are some extra things inside to help you and your child as you complete this work. What I recommend is to put this whole packet where your child can't have access to it so that you can choose what your child takes out and when they take things out so that it can stay organized. Now the parent folder is the very first folder you're gonna see inside of the packet. And the parent folder will be used if we do have to send home any other work, the helps in this parent folder will be um, a benefit to you. Now, the first thing you're gonna see in your parent folder is a stack of construction paper. This can be used if there's a character trait that one of the videos I make are talking about and your child is to draw a picture of that character trait, or if they've read a book or you've read them a story and they want to draw a picture from that story. If you assign them something or if I assign them something in one of the videos, they can use this construction paper to complete that. Inside of your parent folder, you're going to see a table of contents and it's gonna tell you what is inside the folder. Now on the left side of the folder, you're gonna see two readers. Just pace yourself and your child through the readers, assisting them with the different words. Um, don't just leave them to read them on their own because they might read the word incorrectly, but it sounds right to you and so you're gonna think they're reading it correctly. They might say, the little boy washed his hands. Well, those words are not gonna be in most of these stories. It might say, um, Pat got wet. And so if you're looking along, you'll see, oh, that's not what the words say you were guessing. Um, so just help them to read instead of guess. There's also gonna be a picture key. This is gonna help with some of the papers that you're gonna see a little bit later in the video in the student packets. In case there's a picture that the student is to write a word of and you're not really sure what the picture is trying to say, this is gonna be a help to you. You're also gonna see some word solving strategies. These are just some great ways to help your child if they're struggling with words. It's gonna help them notice similarities in words, things they do know to help them read things that they do know. There's a stack of special sounds and most of these, some of these special sounds you'll notice at the very beginning, the first few pages are special sounds that we've already learned in class, but the very last pages will also have new special sounds that we will be learning throughout the next few weeks. Your child might need some of this help as they complete some of their work in the next two weeks. So keep this in the parent folder to help you with that. There's also something fun. There's a collection of scavenger hunts. And if your child is needing an outdoor activity, if they're needing to get moving, if they're bored, if you just need to break up part of their work day, you can help them complete some of these scavenger hunts. Send them outside to find the first three or four things. Um, there's an outside scavenger hunt, it says find three leaves, five flowers, a spider web. Um, if your child completes one of these scavenger hunts, if you'll have them put like a big check mark on it, take a picture holding it, and send it to me, I would love that. There's also a rainbow scavenger hunt, finding different colored items. There's a scavenger hunt as you look through your favorite books, find an animal with fur, find the word pop, find someone sleeping, a five senses scavenger hunt, something that smells good, something that crunches. And this is just something just to help get your child moving, get them to do something a little bit different. Since we're at home a lot, it might be a little bit of a help, a little bit of a help to you. Now on the other side of your parent folder, you're going to see just some extras for your child to work on after they've completed the daily work that I'm gonna show you in a moment. These aren't required, it's just some extra things. 
The very first thing is a little Easter booklet that was put together and it's going to be after Easter when you get this. But one of the things that has been so hard on us teachers is not getting to share uh, the Life of Christ Bible lessons that we had planned leading up to Easter. It's always just one of the most wonderful times of our year as we see God's promises that he made with Adam and Eve and continued with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and having it fulfilled at Easter. Lord, It's just a time that we love and it's a time that we desperately miss. And so we did send home a few things for Easter and no way makes up for what we wanted to have with them. But there's a little Easter booklet. There is an Easter coloring sheet of the Easter story. There's an April calendar and we usually complete these calendars as a class so your student will know how mystery likes them to do it a fun thing about this one is there's also a blank one on the back and they can complete the days as the days happen it'll help them actually use the calendar a little bit more there's a small packet of april themed activities um, filling in a sentence there's some numbers these are just things to do extra if you've already completed the daily work for the day there's a small science packet there's also a um, money packet and a number word packet. The very first page you're gonna see are number words. And we have a chart that's on our wall in the classroom that students can refer to anytime they need help. And they're not gonna have that at home. So they can cut this out and make flashcards to help themselves remember what the number words are. They can just keep it like this and pretend it's a chart and have it posted when they're doing their work to use it however you see fit. On the next side, you're going to see some coins, adding coins together. It'll be helpful for them to write down the number of cents that are in each coin when they're adding them together. This is a, it's definitely a higher level of critical thinking than we're used to in kindergarten, but I think they could be ready for that. There's also gonna be some pennies to cut out, some pennies, some dimes, and some nickels. It'll help them counting by ones, fives, and tens. There's also a piggy bank, and there's instructions that show you how to put it together. These are all of the things that are in the parent folder. Next is the student folder. And what I've done is I have reused their seat work folders. So their names should already be on them. And if your child already took home his seat work folder during our very first packet pickup, then I've just added another folder. Now inside of your child's student folder you're going to also see a label that tells you which one is the student folder has some information right here for you to read and what you're going to see are daily packets for your child to complete this is day one so this will be completed on monday the 13th if that's the day you pick it up whatever day you start on the 13th 14th or 15th this will be day one's packet it'll say day one and the front of it is english language arts a little bit of warm up. You'll probably have to walk your child through this. I'm going to make a video where I can walk them through this to help them. It's black and white, so I would like your child to color it beautifully. On the back of that cover sheet, it also says day one, and this is a math day one paper. So each one of the day's packets are going to begin the same exact way. Day two will say ELA day two, day three, day four, and then you'll have on the other side of your child's folders day six through ten. That's the second week of work. Now you'll notice there's about three or four pages added after this cover sheet. This very first paper after the cover sheet is gonna be your critical paper of the day. If there is a rough homeschooling day, if there is family visiting, if it's someone's birthday, if someone is sick, if you're running errands or doing projects in the house and school is a struggle to get finished that day, then if you're wondering, Miss Derry, what is the most important thing? You've got all this stuff. What is the most important thing? This will be the most important thing of every day. The paper that comes right after the cover sheet. This paper, when all of these things are turned back in, will be graded for accuracy. The whole packet is important and will be graded for completion. But you'll know the very first one inside of that day's packet is the critical paper that I'll be grading for accuracy. So if there's just a day where it's it's just a it's just a struggle to get school done that day, work on that paper and then move on to the next day where you can put a little bit more effort into it. Like I said, 
Try your best to get all the papers done in each packet because they are necessary. They will be a completion grade. However, the first paper behind the cover sheet will be the very, very most important paper of the day. After the, on the same day, day one, you're also gonna see behind it a clock craft. If your child, your child will complete this clock, cutting it out and putting the hands on the clock, um, we're gonna use this in the days to come as we learn how to read our clocks a little bit more. Now on the other side of this student one, you're also gonna see the, ne the next week, there's day six, day seven, day eight, day nine, day 10. And remember, the paper after the cover sheet is the critical paper of the day. Please don't try to have your child complete the whole packet at one hit each day. Let them complete maybe one side of one paper and then go run around in the yard. Um, then complete the back side of the paper and then go have a snack. There shouldn't, try not to make your child work more than two hours a day. That's even with breaking things up in between. Um, we would never just teach them two hours straight in the classroom. We would always give them time to get up and to move and to talk. And that helps them refocus when it's time to get their work done. But if you have a child who just really wants to troop through and get it done, that is fine. They can even complete that extra work that's in the other folder. Try not to let them complete more than one days on a day. Um, but just pace it out. Use the scavenger hunt to help you break up your day, things like that. And then hopefully the way we've put this together, it'll be a little bit, um, it'll just be easy to complete it. It'll still be challenging for your child, but it'll still be, it'll be hopefully a little bit simpler just to know what's today's work, Mrs. Derry. Well, day one, day one is today's work. Complete it, put it away, then do day two, day three, day four, all the way up to day 10. And then I'll be emailing out when to turn in um, both weeks work. You just turn it in in your child's folder. Um, we're not gonna be turning it in until the second week is completed. And again, I'll be putting that date out there. Now, after your child's work folder, you're going to see another cover sheet that talks about the books that I've included. I've included your child's Bible book, number book, and science book. Our Bible book is the book we've been working on throughout the year. You can just have your child complete the pages as they go. Um, they'll need a little bit of assistance, but just use this as you would like to use this at home in addition to the other work that we're working on. Day one of your child's Daily Packets has a number writing sheet, but I have not included any more number writing sheets in the work. You can paste these out as you would like as well. I typically have a child only do the front of a paper unless they messed up and they wanna start all over again, or if they've rushed through it and they haven't done their very best handwriting, then I'll have a child do the back of it. But typically it's a lot just to get the front done. Um, even though these aren't critical papers, they are important, it helps them as they remember that the two comes before the one when they're writing 21, they don't accidentally write 12. Um, just writing two, zero, two, one, two, 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 three, helps that muscle, that muscle memory with their hand helps them remember when they look at a number, they know, oh, the two is first, it's 23, it's not 32, it's 13, it's not 31, that's a common one they confuse. So these are really, really important. However, um, you can use these as you would like to supplement the daily work. And then our science books, we would have started science in this fourth quarter. Mrs. Thompson does social studies the first three quarters of the school year and then introduces science in the last quarter because the students can read typically through the books. And it's just a really fun time that we are also missing. Nothing is school. And read the sections with your child. They might be able to read everything by themselves, but they might need some help and then have them complete the activities in each section. Again, paste this out as you would like to paste this out. And then if you pre-ordered a class picture for your child, those have come in and those who pre-ordered will have those inside of their packets as well. <sighs> Thank you for sticking with me through another packet. Thank you for sticking with our school and having the patience. I pray that your family is safe. I pray that your family is well. I pray that you're finding those wonderful moments in this new type of pace that we have right now that we're not used to. Um, I hope that you're making memories with your children and we know that life will get back to its new normal soon before we know it. And it, we'll look back at this time hopefully and just see um, what God gave us in these 
um, in this different time. And I miss you. I miss your children. I miss your families. I'd much rather be teaching to sweet, beautiful faces, um, laughing at me and giggling and singing and shouting and whispering and getting excited and jumping up out of their seats. I'd much rather be doing that than teaching to a camera. But thankfully, we have the technology to do this so that we can keep moving forward. Um, I pray that we will get back together in May. We have been planning graduation. We have been planning our kindergarten celebration so that we can still have that fun day. We are exploring a few options to where we can have um, graduation photos taken since that um, was something that we missed out on with being home from school. So we are still moving forward. We are still planning and we are hopeful that we will get to finish out our school year. Not exactly the way we planned, but still in a wonderful way. And I just, again, I thank you. I thank you for sticking with our school and I thank you for sticking with me and the patience and the grace you have given me has been overwhelming and I just thank you for it. I love your families. I'm praying for your families and I hope to see you very, very, very soon.